that's right. If you want to see more of me, if you want to see how to fix your septic tank problems, you want free help and advice, then you can either go to septictank.co.uk or just go and see my live TV channel, Septic Tank TV. Okay, so in this live broadcast, I'm going to answer a very common problem, which is why is my septic tank overflowing? Why is my septic tank overflowing? Okay, so it's a very common problem and it's a very common question. So why is your septic tank overflowing? Well, I'll tell you why, all right? One basic, simple answer is this. It is your soak away. Full stop, okay? It's your soak away. And you're probably thinking, well, okay, that's fine telling me that, but why is it overflowing, all right? Okay, so 99.9% .9 of the time, if your septic tank is backing up, if it's overflowing, if the toilets are flushing slowly, it's your soak away. Let me show you why. All right, so here we go. Let me show you why. All right, so <laughs> you're going to see my fantastic artwork now. Okay, so let's say this is your septic tank, all right? So that's your septic tank in the ground, and uh, you've got an outlet pipe which goes to your soak away. Okay, so that's your soak away here. There you go. Soak away. All right, and here's your inlet pipe. So basically, uh, and this is your septic tank, look. There you go. So basically, as you know, or maybe you don't know, all the wastewater from your house comes down the inlet pipe here, and it fills the tank up, fills the tank up with liquid. And then that liquid, when it gets to a certain height, goes down into the soak away. All right. So that's how it works. And so what happens is over time, the soak away. Uh, well, if I start with the septic tank first, right, you've got fat, you've got grease, you've got solids, you've got poo and hair and skin and stuff like that. And all that builds up in the septic tank. All right. Falls to the bottom of the septic tank on the floor here and builds up over time. But what happens as well as all this debris, the fat and the grease and the sludge also floats in the water. It's called suspended solids. And these suspended solids make their way into a soak away. All right. And over time, uh, so it's like if I've got a bad diet and I, I'm eating fried food all the time, the cholesterol, the fat, and cholesterol in the fried food would block my arteries up, right? And it's the same with a soak away. A soak away is like an artery, and it blocks up with cholesterol or fat and grease and sludge. And the more fat that blocks it up, all right, it just blocks the pipe up. So the water in your septic tank cannot soak away anymore. Full stop, okay? So then what happens is, if you imagine, this is your tank lid here. That's your tank lid, look. And if I just put this here, this is the grass. That's the grass there. The water will fill up in the septic tank because it can't soak away and it'll bubble up and overflow onto the grass. And it will also back, go back towards the house so you won't be able to flush your toilets anymore. So that is why your septic tank is overflowing. You're now going to ask me, I know you're going to ask me, what can you do to fix your septic tank? You, you, oh, oh, you, you're soak away, that's overflowing. What can you do? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing, all right? That will save you thousands of pounds and having to replace your soak away. They're called soak away worms. Soak away worms. Um, I invented them, <laughs> I sell them, we've got a wormery that breeds them. Basically, you tip a bucket of these septic, uh, soak away worms into your septic tank, they, uh, or into your soak away, they eat all the fat and the grease and they unblock your septic tank and soak away and stop it overflowing. So there you go, what a tip. That's the tip for the day, isn't it? Okay, how's that for an amazing tip, okay? So, there you go, that's my tip for the day. So if you wanna see more of me, and you want to see some more amazing septic tank tips, then all you need to do 
is go to septic tank tv or septic tank.co.uk give me a ring and i'd love to give you some free help and advice